Hello, and welcome back to another video. Wow, I know, it's crazy. Uh, with Scream Fortress just releasing, I decided, why not? Let's go rank the spells, and um, I can just rank them on which spells I think are best, and which I think are stinky. I, fi I, f I figured I should uh, explain what the rankings are. So we've got a Marasmus Special, that is the top tier. Uh, you know, just a Marasmus Special, because, you know, Marasmus is, is a magical don. And they've got Merlin would be proud. Now this is Merlin from sort of like a, a battle mage, like smite perspective, not old man who fall in love with a woman living in a lake, Merlin, you know? And then we've got street magic, which is just, you know, classic little spell. Certainly is a spell, you know, something that I may, maybe could go without existing. And then we've got Harry Potter level, which is the worst of the worst. Um, I hate Harry Potter. Uh, so yeah, any spells I hate will go in that level. And that's a pretty comprehensive guide to, to the tiers. So, the first spell we have is Shadow Leap, as they call it, or, um, Epsom Instantarium, which is basically a teleport spell. It's like, 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 like using an Ender Pearl, pretty much. You, you throw it and you teleport to where it lands. Now, this is only available on Hell Tower, but I think it's a pretty, pretty cool spell. You know, you get to just teleport like an Enderman. So, yes, I think that Shadow Leap, Shadow Leap, sir. It goes in street magic, I think. It's not one of my favourites. It's always fun to use, and you probably get some some sick plays if you use it properly. Um, but for me, it's a street magic level spell. Caputus Crepitus, also known as Fireball. Yes, this is a classic. You just throw a ball of fire, and it lights people on fire. What's not to love? And as a pyromane, this is a, this is a very a very nice spell. I mean, with spells like this, they're in Scream Fortress. It just makes you think how they could do a cool like. D and D, or I think it's Gargoyles and Gravel Pits is the the TF2 version. But if they they, they could do like a, a D and D campaign with all these spells, I think that'd be very cool. For me, that's going in a Merlin would be proud. It's a great spell. It's fun to use on classes that can't take advantage of the afterburn because you, you you're giving people afterburn, and then obviously if you pair it with a pyro, it's just a bit crazy, really. Um, but for me, it's in a Merlin would be proud because it's almost at the top tier. But it, it just gets dragged down a bit. And now we have a blast jump or Amplus Tripudio. I can't speak Latin. Anyway, this spell is highly situational, but it's very cool. Um, I'm going to insert this clip from Taylor TF on Twitter showing you how it could be used very well. I know, what a what a crazy guy. But yeah, I think that's actually a pretty cool use. Um, it actually changed the position in my mind. Because I never play Market Garden Soldier, I would just would never think to use the Blast Jump like that. Um, I'm obviously a Pyro main, as I've stated. So to me, it doesn't have that much utility. But originally it was in Certainly Is a Spell, but I'm actually going to move it up to Street Magic purely on that video, because... Damn, that is a great use of it. And now we move on to Overheal, or as I call it the Uber spell because that's really what it is. Barpo Cabalto! I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the Uber spell. I used it in my map review video, the last video I uploaded. It only lasts for one second, which is a major drawback. I feel like it should last for longer if you're taking damage. Obviously, it lasting one second when you're not taking damage makes sense. But I think if you are taking damage, it should last a bit longer. So for me, that goes in Harry Potter level. What a, I mean, it's a good way to heal yourself for a lot of HP quickly, but I, I simply don't rate it. And now we have Swarm of Bats, or as, I, or as they say in, in Latin, Deus Invictus. It's a pretty cool spell. I can't lie, I do enjoy Swarm of Bats quite a lot. You just throw a Swarm of bla Bats and they do bleed damage to whoever they hit. And I feel there's, a, there's a splash range of people it'll hit because you don't have to hit people directly, as shown um, in my map review video with this clip. Oh! Oh! I think it's a very cool spell. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. It's definitely one of my favourites. And for that, it's going in Marasmus Special. If it only had one shot, it would probably be a Merlin would be proud spell. But because it has two shots, I, I rate it highly. And now we have Pumpkin MIRV. I'm not sure what MIRV means, but that's the name of the spell. Or as, as they say in Latin, Pactum Diabolus. I think, not my native language, um, but that basically hits an area 
and puts like five pumpkin bombs around the area you hit, which obviously when shot explode and do quite a bit of damage. Um, it is very situational though because it can easily be countered by just not going near the circle. It's a good ambush weapon I think, a good ambush spell, but personally not really a fan. So it certainly is a spell, but it's not one I'm going to be looking to unlock. And finally for the common, I guess, um, spells we have invisibility or stealth as they call it. It's just a spy cloak for anyone who uses it really. Orpo Invisium. I feel like I pronounced that one pretty well. It's, it does what it says on the tin. It makes you invisible like a spy. And if you attack someone, that invisibility disappears. So it's pretty decent. It's good for ambushing. Say you're playing like an ambush class like the Pyro and you want to stand near a ledge and then uncloak and blast someone off. That'd be pretty funny. But if you're just playing like a normal, normal class, it might not have the best use. But you could be a cloaked sniper and then uncloak and headshot somebody, maybe. Jaybird, you'll have to test that theory out because I think it might be possible. Um, but stealth, it's going in certainly as a spell. I don't think it's that useful personally, but it could have some uses if used right, if used by a, a skilled player, let's say. <laughs> now onto the rare magical spells. These ones are a bit harder to get, and as such, they are usually much stronger. <laughs> Invulcum Monoculus! Now this is one of my favourite spells because it summons your own little monoculus. I love it, especially on um, Hell Tower, where you could just have like four different monoculuses just chilling near the final cap point, killing anyone. It's great fun. Also, not fun to fight against, but that comes with the job. So yeah, you basically spawn like a, a ghostly team-coloured monoculus into the sky, which shoots projectiles at enemies. It's very cool. I'm a big fan. And for me, that's a Marasmus special. I love it. It's amazing. G G <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and then we have Skeleton Horde. Now, this does exactly what it says on the tin. It summons a couple skeletons to fight for you. Mortis Animatoris! It summons skeletons. That's really it. Personally... I don't really like it because it only lasts for 30 seconds before the skeletons kill themselves anyway. And the skeletons, they're not that strong. I mean, they're, they're a bit of an annoyance, but they're not that strong. And for a rare spell, while it is cool, not really my thing. And that's going on street magic for me because it's very easy to just move away from the skeletons and you'll be fine. But say the Skeleton King, if you could summon the Skeleton King, that'd be nutty. Borlo Lightning now. Um... If you did watch my map preview video, you'll know that this is one of my favourite spells to use because it's just insane damage. Um, so what it does, well, you'll, you'll see what it does. Imputum Fulminus. I'm very certain I did not pronounce that one right, but that's that's how they say it. Uh, yeah, this just summons a massive ball of lightning which runs through the map and dissolves anyone in its path, any enemy. For me, it's a Marasmus special just straight up. Does a lot of damage, very powerful. If you get it on a payload, like on Terra, you're living because it's going to do a lot of damage, especially if there's a lot of people pushing that payload. It's going to be insane. Meteor Shower. Have you ever wanted to kill off the dinosaurs? Well, now you can. Sismila Tremoro. It basically summons a very localized Meteor Shower on the spot your the spell lands, really. So you could throw it on a control point, which I, a lot of people do, or you could throw it on the payload, and basically it's going to spawn a bunch of meteors that are going to do... 100 damage continuously so it's a very powerful spell very situational because sometimes you can cast it and it won't deploy and then you're fucked because you've lost your spell and so for that drawback it's going in a merlin would be proud it's a very good spell but you can fuck it up sometimes and finally we have minify a personal favorite of mine along with borlo lightning because you become small and fast and you get a big head which i already have Paydom solaris so yeah, Minify, I like it, because you can really go on a little rampage if you wanted. Although, if you're on a slope or near a structural prop when the spell runs out, you will die. So be careful, try and be in an open area as the spell wears off, because you could just die. That is, that is a drawback of one of the most powerful spells in TF2. And for me, it's a Marasmus special. That's it. This is the actual official TF2 spell rating. Um, if you would like to do this tier list, I will leave it in the description so you can find it and you can do it. I'd like to see how you rate them. So if you're in the Mercs Discord, pop it in general pictures and tag me, or post on Twitter and tag me in that. I'd like to see how you guys rate the spells, and if you don't have Borlo Lightning in S tier, you're a fraud. I'm excited to make more videos, definitely going to be some more Scream Fortress content coming. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. 
Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can you took a few showers? Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.